Hi, this is a quick guide to installing the TRX4 cantilever suspension that I designed. The parts in front of you should be all you need to install it onto one side of the vehicle. Okay, set the spring aside for the moment. Take a long bolt and one of these arms with the bearing installed and push the bolt through. Okay, make sure that the arm that you push it through is the flat one here, not the raised one here. This is going to be where the thread bites into. So you want to start on the one with, that's just flat. Okay, you can see it's flat there, and this one is raised. Okay, there's a bush. Place the bush over the bolt, and then place the other arm on the bolt. Take the spacer, place a spacer on the bolt and then take the mounting plate that goes on the chassis making sure that this right angled side is away from you and screw the bolt on to the plate. Don't over tighten this otherwise the uh, arms won't rotate. So just nip that up. Doesn't have to be super tight, just enough to stop them wobbling from side to side, but enough so there's some movement there. Okay. Once you've bolted this on, you can rotate it around and put your spring in place. Push the bolt in through the shock absorber and nip this up. Again this doesn't have to be too tight, you're only holding the shock absorber onto it. Now you have movement like this. And this is how it's going to be on the vehicle. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is bolt the shock absorber to the back of the vehicle. And there's a spacer that you'll need to print off and it screws onto the shock absorber like this. Okay, black spacer here. All the lengths and sizes are on my Thingiverse page. You can use either this back hole or the forward hole. The back hole will give you uh, slightly less tension on the shock absorber. Okay, so just tighten that up. None of these bolts need to be super tight. Just nip them up. Okay, that one's in there. The next thing to do is we're going to bolt in the mounting bracket. Now, make sure your shock absorber is over like that and place a bolt in one of the holes. Okay, here we go. Just get that first bolt started. Make sure the spring is over that way. This would probably be better to do this before you bolt the spring in the back. Because I'm going to have to compress that now to make that go in. There we go. We can do this one and back up. The 
And lastly, you need this screw, which has a countersunk head on it. Difficult to see on the camera, but it's countersunk. And this one goes in behind there. So to make life easier, we will take this bolt out here. Because that's just a pain. Okay, move the shock out of the way, tighten down the countersunk screw, the reason there's a countersunk screw there is so that these arms can clear the bolt head. So we can now refit the shock. Okay, now if you've done it correctly, you'll have good movement there. The next thing is the link to the axle. Now, these you can make to whatever length you want within reason, depending on how much clearance you want or how much movement you want in the axle. Mine are at the moment about eye to eye about 40 mil. Okay one more bolt. So simple task of basically putting this bolt through this hole, tighten that one down And there you have it, working suspension. I'll just pop the wheel back on. And put my little covers back on. Which you can't see, and I'll just put the cover back on here. Take the axle stand out of the way, and there you have it. Working suspension. Thanks for watching. Take care, bye.